parliamentary committees there are different types of parliamentary committees which can be classified as follows consultative committees for different ministries which provide a forum for discussion on the policies and the working of the ministry the select or joint select committees on individual bills for investigation of inquiry the parliament may appoint a committee for specific purpose of studying a particular subject matter for example a committee for welfare or scheduled caste and scheduled tribes there are committees to inquire into the various matters like the committee of petition and the committee of privileges the committee to scrutinize or the committee of government assurance and committee on subordinate legislation there are also committees of administrative character relating to the business of house such as committee on the absence of members from the sitting of the house business advisory committee and rules committee a few committees are concerned with the facilities of a member of parliament like the house committee and library committee however one of the most important committees including the financial committees such as estimates committee public account committees and the committee on public undertakings public accounts committee the function of this committee is to examine the annual accounts of the government and the accounts showing appropriation uh, of different sums granted by lok sabha the committee is particular scrutinized the report of the controller and auditor general in regard to the appropriation accounts of the government the committee has to safety itself that the sum expanded was spent on the services or supposed for which it was made available for uh, which is uh, it was charged it must also see that the expenditure is according to the authorization and if any reappropriation was done it was made by a complete authority to committee may also look into the profit and loss account and balance sheet of government uh, corporations the accounts of different projects and institutions and consider the report of the cag in regard to such accounts the committee also purposes the report of the cag in regard to autonomous and semi autonomous bodies constitution the committee consists of not more than 22 members 15 of which are drawn from lok sabha they are elected on the basis of the principle of proportional representation by means of single transferable vote seven members nominated by rajya sabha are cooperated in the committees no minister may be elected to the committee if a member elected to committee subsequently becomes a minister then he will cease to be member from the date of his appointment the term of the members is not more than one year during the past year a convention has developed to appoint a member from opposition benches as the chairman of the committee the chairman is generally reelected for another year This committee came into limelight when a report of the CAG pertaining to purchase of before guns was discussed the estimate committee the government of the day formulates the economic policies and presents demands to the parliament for carrying out of the policies in order to scrutinize the expenditure proposed by the government in an informal atmosphere this grading party lines and estimate committee is constituted after the budget is presented before the lok sabha this committee of lok sabha examines the estimates in order to make suggestions in regard to economy and important in organizational efficiency or administrative reform consistent with policies and line the estimates suggests alternative policies for bringing efficiency and economy in administration examine whether the money is well laid out within the limits of the policy to suggest the form 
in which the estimate are to be represented to the parliament the committee functions would not include a government undertaking which has been referred to the committee on public undertakings the committee shall have more than 30 members the members are elected by proportional representation by means of single transferable vote a minister cannot be elected to the committee and if after election a person is appointed a minister he sees to be a member of the committee the members are appointed for a period uh, not exceeding one year the report of the committees is not debated in the house the committee keeps on working throughout the year and places its views before the house the demand for grants made by government uh, do not wait for the report of the estimate committee and estimates committee makes useful suggestions and checks government uh, exceeding one year the report of the committee is not debate in the house of the committee keeps on working uh, out of the year and places its views for the house and demands for grants made by the government do not wait for the report of the estimates committee the estimates committee makes useful suggestions that checks government extravagance to making demand for the next financial year Committee on Public Undertakings. The functions of the committee are to examine the reports and accounts of the people undertaking specified in the rules of the Lok Sabha, example, the Mudar Valley Corporation, etc., to examine the report of the CAG in regard in the government undertaking, to examine whether the government undertakings are being run according to the appropriation uh, mercantile to examine whether the government undertakings are being accordance to examine other matters which may be referred by the speaker to the committee constitution the committee consists of more than 22 members 15 are elected by the lok sabha in accordance with the principle of proportional representation by means of single transferable vote seven members nominated by rajya sabha Sabha are co-opted in the committee as in the case of other committees. A minister is not qualified to the elected to the committees. A member appointed as a minister ceased to be member. Uh, the term of the members does not exceed one year. Committee of Welfare or Scheduled Caste and Scheduled Tribes. The committees or functions are the consider the report submitted by the commissioner of for scheduled caste SC and scheduled tribes ST. The report on the action taken by the Union Government on the measures proposed by the committee to examine the representation of SC and ST in the service then posed under the Union to ensure the implementation of Art 1335. To review the working of the welfare programs for the SC and ST in the union territories they consider any other matter which the committee may deem fit or which may be specially referred to it by the speaker constitution the committee consists of not more than 30 members 20 are elected by lok sabha in accordance with the principle of proportional representation by single transferable vote 10 members nominated by Raj sabha are co-opted in the committee like the committees a minister is speaker to consider the annual report on the ministries departments and report theorem to consider national basic long-term policy documents presented to the houses and report on them if referred by the chairman of the speaker the committees are expressly prohibited from considering matters of day-to-day -day administration and each committee consists of not more than 45 members 30 members are nominated by the speaker from the lok sabha and 15 are nominated by the chairman from the rajya sabha a member who is a minister shall not be nominated or continue as a member the chairman of six of the committees wise commerce home affairs human resource of development industry science and technology and transport and tourism are appointed by the chairman chairman of the remaining 11 committees are appointed by the speaker 
committees of Rajya Sabha. Apart from the department related standing committees in which both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha participate, the Rajya Sabha has come exclusive committees. They are committees on subordinate legislation, committees on government assurance, committees on papers laid on the table, rules committee, house committee and general purpose committee the committee on subordinate legislation the committee scrutinize each rule regulation by law etc framed in uh, persons of the constitution or the legislative functions delegated by a parliament to a subordinate authority and which is required to be laid before parliament the committee consists of 15 members to who are nominated by the chairman, casual vacancies are filled by the chairman, uh, 